Welcome to London Bridge Project YouTube channel. Today we are together with Simon. Simon, hello and welcome. Thank you, Kemal. It's great to be here with you today. Yeah, it's our pleasure. Thank you for coming. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, shall we start with your background? Can you tell us more about yourself, how you start yes, doing sure. business or what's your what's your nature in the business? Yeah, so um, my, my background is within marketing com and communications. Uh, looking after marketing teams, try, trying to get messages out to, to a wide audience. Um, and that's been for, for a number of years. And I suppose one of the, the golden threads throughout my career has been a, an interest in digital. <laughs> so right from the early days, messing around with HTML back in the early 90s, right through to uh, sort of about 2006, really playing around with, with social media channels which were emerging and seeing a huge benefit out of things like blogging in terms of connecting with an audience mm -hmm. and having conversations. And the last sort of, I suppose, seven, seven and a half years, I've been a, a partner with an organization called Social B. Mm -hmm. And to put it succinctly, what we do is we work with companies and we try, the, try and help them increase their profits mm -hmm. through digital and social mm -hmm. uh, media. Mm -hmm. um, whether that's, that's through training or whether that's actually managing the channels for them. Mm -hmm. My own personal passion is, is training. I love that aha moment when uh, someone's caught the, I suppose, the essence of what I'm trying, trying to teach them yeah. and has adapted it for their own business yeah. and has suddenly got it. Are you working with a specific type of customer or are you flexible to work with, I mean, IT manufacturers, you know? Yeah, we, or... I, I suppose one of the, the things that we've found um, difficult right from day one is to, to pigeonhole any type of sector or industry, mm -hmm. who we tend to get on our, our courses or as um, our clients, uh, business is passionate about making a difference with their social media. So for a lot of businesses, um, sadly, that, that we, we, we train and we, we deal with and we come across, social media is just another tick list. It's another, another job to do on, 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 yeah. on the box. Mm -hmm. It's another, another um, tick list for, for web as well. Yeah. So. If we go back to the objectives, what, what is the business trying to do? Is it trying to import into to the UK or create leads into the UK? Mm -hmm. Can social media help that? Can your website help that? Um, yes, it can, but you need to be intentional about how you go about that and always think about your audience first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. So how do you approach the international customers? I'm sure you are working with a lot of international com companies. Uh, first of all, how you find them or how they find you. And whenever there is a lead international company doing trying to business in the UK, and what's your approach to them and how you draw a path for them? I think, I think for us personally, and this, this might differ from organization to organization, is that most people come to us through, through search. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they find our website uh, first and foremost. And what they say about the website is, you're not confusing me. You're not talking in jargon. You're actually talking in a language I understand. Mm -hmm. And I think for any business, part of the problem is getting into the shoes of the people they are trying to yeah. reach yeah. through their marketing yeah. efforts. Yeah. Some companies do this, this really well. Yeah. Others actually struggling. You str struggle completely, yeah. So whenever there is a lead, um, what's your initial approach for that lead? You know, how, you, how you get them prepared for the UK? So, so I think the, 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 the mindset that, that, that we have is when, when we see this word sales, we're thinking about the word relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to get a sale from somebody, but actually we want that long-term relationship mm -hmm. with them. So how can we build that relationship? So one of the, the ways if a, a lead comes in through, through our website or through social we try and jump on it as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Make make sure we're emailing, make sure we're, we're we're phoning, just to find out what that that client wants, what they they, they need from us, mm -hmm. and what their what their issues are. Then we try and understand from from their point of view, um, what's it like for you in your shoes? What's it like for you in your business and the people that you're trying to reach? Mm -hmm. How how can what we have on offer, uh, whether that's training or, or the more retained services that, that we provide? help you achieve your goals. And more and more, what's, what's happening as we've, we've developed over the last sort of um, eight, eight or nine years is that we, we start thinking as our customers, we start thinking as our clients mm -hmm. 
and try to be almost like the, the, the digital marketing department mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. for that, that client customer. And that, that's also on our training. The training, we might see people for a, for a day, we might see them for three days or, or for a week. But actually getting to know them, know their business inside out and what the business goals are trying to achieve uh, is paramount uh, to us as well. I know the UK is very competitive and digital marketing is quite popular more than 10 years right now, probably. Yeah. So how you beat that competition? Do you, do you follow any specific methodology or anything that's specific to you? I, I, I think it is, there's two factors within that. And the, the first is coming back to what we said already, actually simplifying what we're talking about. Talk, talking in the language that the audience understands rather than our own jargon. And lots of businesses fail at that at this point because they will talk in their own jargon, whether they're a manufacturing company, mm -hmm. whether they're an IT company, and they expect the audience they're trying to reach, the customers, to make that leap and say, oh, that's the product I want, that's the service I want. What we tend to do is we, we talk about, about the issues people have, mm -hmm. the things they might be struggling with, mm -hmm. and then try and offer our products and services and solutions uh, mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. So when you are doing that, how you understand the different type of customers and products? Because we are talking about many different types of services that you may get involved. That's, that's so true. And I think um, know, knowing what that, that customer is aiming at the end of the day. So sometimes we will, we will ask the, the customer if we're going to manage their, their social media or their, their website or their, their SEO program, for, for example. We will ask them some hard questions. Mm. And we'll know how serious they are. So we'll say, what does profit look like at the moment? Where do you want sales to go in the future? And they think, well, hang on a minute. This is, this is this surely this is social media or, or website you're playing around with here. Why do you know, need to know that? Well, actually, we, we, we don't want um, digital media to be a, a Cinderella type service, <laughs> some, something that we do because everybody else does it. Actually, it has to make a, a huge difference mm -hmm. to your business. It has to be intrinsically linked mm -hmm. to your objectives and what you're trying to achieve as a business. Great. When we are speaking about this high potential impact through the digital marketing, are there any short list of that you can immediately tell to newcomers in the UK market? Yes, I, th I think that that comes out of the, the, the many years we've, we've been, well, my, me personally, I've been involved in training of seeing some of the, the common pitfalls that people fall, fall under. So, so one is that on the website side, actually putting things in, in silos, in, in sectors, and as I said, expecting the, the customer to, to come at you and to work out where the product or service they need is. Thinking about it in the customer's shoes, as I said earlier, is, is, is crucial. And developing your website around your, your customer needs, the most uh, relevant products, the most relevant services, and how they can help, having those case studies up there as well. And then on the social media side, there's the huge danger. Every new platform that, that comes out, people jump on with their business and start posting, start posting hourly, daily, and wonder why nobody's interested. And as a social media user myself, I get incredibly bored of the, I suppose, the level of, of content I see coming irrelevant out from content. the relevant content. Yeah. So, totally right. The level of content coming out from, from businesses, because as you say, it's, it's not relevant to me. They're talking about what they're doing. They're talking about their products and services. And it's a bit like a splurge of information that comes out all the time. Oh yeah, we've done social media, let's tick the box again. We posted this week. Not thinking about the audience and how, how we engage with them. So my I suppose my top tips would be that the first thing is actually to um, connect. Do some research on where your audiences are on social and digital media. Are, are they searching through, through Google to find your, um, your, your products and services? Have a look at your Google Analytics if you've got that installed to see what's going on on your website, where people are coming in from all over the world as well. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, on, on, on the social side of things, have a look at the channels, do some research mm -hmm. on is Facebook the right channel for me? Is LinkedIn the right channel? Twitter, Instagram, or even TikTok now as well, as pe mm -hmm. people are talking yeah, about. Do that research. Just don't get sucked in to, hey, it's there. Let's post on it and let's, let's put our content out, content out there. Yeah. So, so Connect would be the, the, the first thing. And then the second thing is, is, remember, these are platforms where people are, first and foremost, probably excluding LinkedIn for this, are there for their friends and their family. Yeah. They're having conversations so make sure 
that you enter into that world of conversation. Mm -hmm. Ask questions, make mm -hmm. sure it's two way. Mm -hmm. Think about your posts. Are you broadcasting? Because broadcasting um, doesn't work in social media. Yeah. It works with a very small handful of companies that are very well known. Mm -hmm. Most companies have to build up trust. We can build up that trust through having conversations on social media. And then that's when I suppose the sales bit comes in. Yeah. Don't forget to convert. Mm. Yeah, conversion give, is the key. Yeah, yeah. Give, give people that option to click on a link, yeah. track that link, mm -hmm. see how many people are coming back to your website yeah. to find out more, whether that, that's even on, a, on an awareness type conversion where they're not aware of your, your, your business, so you've written an article or blog post, mm -hmm. you're bringing them back, mm -hmm. lead generation where you're, you're collecting um, email yeah. addresses, or even um, hard and fast sales as well, yeah. you're bringing people back to your e-commerce sites. One final question for you might be the cultural side of the business. It's, it affects everything as we are doing international business. Uh, I'm, I know you have, you've done a lot. And what is the cultural issue about the digital market and how it affects your business? That's a really great point. So, so I think from a, from a social media side, for me, it's knowing why people use certain platforms. So some of the businesses we uh, work with um, on a global scale they will say, actually, if we're looking for business-to-business -business sales, mm -hmm. Facebook is, is right for them because mm -hmm. people are on Facebook in certain countries yeah. for business purposes. Yeah. Actually, in the UK, that might have a struggle. Mm -hmm. You're probably looking at LinkedIn. You might be looking yeah. at, at, at Twitter yeah. as, as your major two, two platforms yeah. um, through that. So I, th I think looking at any country, it's always worth working out what does my audience look like? What, where are they hanging out? What social media platforms are they on? And if, if I do start trying to have conversations about my business, will they engage on a, on a platform, say Facebook, where they might be reading it mm -hmm. at eight o'clock at night and not thinking about business whatsoever? Um, just working out that strategy before you launch in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, strategy is the key for the success. Yes. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for all this uh, valuable information and practical information. We are very happy to have you here today and hope to see you soon again. Thanks, Kamal. It's been a real pleasure being here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Today, we were together with Simon from Social V and he has shared very valuable information for, for everyone who are willing to start digital marketing or international business in the UK. Soon, we will have more guests to talk about the sales in the UK.